It's not a place you hear mentioned often when visitors speak of their tours of Thailand, but the southern province and city of Nakhon Si Tamarat is well worth a visit. Located about 780 kilometers south of Bangkok, on the east coast of the Malay Peninsula, this is a rewarding stop between the cities of Hat Yai and Suratani. This is in fact one of the most ancient cities in Thailand, formerly the capital of the Kingdom of Ligo, which was an independent monarchy for many centuries. Various rulers left their mark, and you can walk through the crumbling remains of ancient walls and towers in the city heart. Nakhon Si Tamarat is one of the oldest cities in Thailand. In fact, it dates back to around 775. Now, this fortification behind me was built by one of the earlier kings back in the 13th century. And as you can see, it's still standing strong. My local guide, Kun Kandit, is understandably proud of her hometown. So, Kanda, this is your hometown. Yeah? Yes. So, how many generations of your family came from here? Mm, they were born here a very long time ago. <laughs> so, your grandfather as well? Great, or maybe great, great grandfather. Yeah. Wow. And were they in business here? Or were they? Yeah, early? they they work for government. Yeah. Show you. And like judge court, what you call? Yeah, work yeah. in the courts. Yeah, yeah. As judge. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So they give the land to build like prison here too. Oh, okay. So your family had a lot of land here. Yeah. yeah. So for you, it's um, you work and you live in Bangkok, but you love coming back here. Yeah, I moved from Bangkok to here yeah. eleven years with my grandparents. So I live here like eleven years. So why do you like the city? Is, is it is it got a good feel? Is it a nice place to live? Yeah, simple, quiet, yeah. and hot, sunny. Yes, it's got good weather, nice yeah. and sunny. Kanom Jin. <laughs> Kanom Jin. I know it's famous for its Kanom Jin, isn't it? Yeah. And as school here, very yes. famous. Yes. Yeah. Nakhon Si Tamarat has for centuries also been an important center of Thai Buddhism, and one of the country's most significant temples is located here. Right now it's undergoing some restoration, but Wat Pra Mahatap behind me here is one of the most significant temples in southern Thailand. Just how important is it? Well, if you look through your spare change and you find one of these, it's a 25 satang. In fact, that's a quarter of one baht. On the front is His Majesty the King of Thailand, and on the back, this temple. One of the traditions here is to feed the birds. And as you can see, they're very enthusiastic. Wow. This is an easy town to explore on foot. Nakhon Si Tamarad is famous for its local silver, and it's said that silver beads were put into local constructions in days past for good luck. It's even better luck to find one today. And this is a replica of the lucky silver plums that were put underneath that fortifying wall. If you're really lucky, you might find a real one. Other sites reflecting the town's diverse temple architecture are well worth exploring. So too are the old shop houses that local residents are restoring step by step. Here, one of the characters you'll often see depicted in the province's famous shadow puppet theater. Hundreds of years ago, an overland route between the western port of Trang and the eastern port of Nakhon Si Tamarat functioned as a major trade link between Thailand and the rest of the world. 
that resulted in trade between merchants from the Indian, Arabic, Varavati and Champa states and later from merchants from British, Portuguese and Dutch empires. Nothing reflects the interchange of people and culture better than the diverse local cuisine. Throughout the town you'll also see many of these unusual and somewhat controversial towers. They've been specially built to house only birds. The region's swallows are farmed for the nests used in bird's nest soup and other beverages. In addition to its vibrant history, Nakonsi Tamarat boasts two national parks and many underdeveloped beaches, though you'll have to venture a short distance out of town to walk on the sand. It's hard to believe, but when Nakonsi Tamarat was established, it was actually on the coast. But the build-up of silt over centuries means that this beach is now 30 kilometres from the city. So next time you journey south, take a detour and discover Nakonsi Tamarat, an ancient and fascinating part of Thailand.